Okay, so what I'm doing today, totally cold. I have just installed AIFES and it's installed 2.0 and here's the site and it stands for Artificial Intelligence for Embedded Systems. Oh, I get it. The I is capitalized. Okay, so only the F is small. Um, and on the Arduino, I've gone to Examples, AIF, Universal, XOR, Zero, and Front. Well, I might as well load it up again. There it is. And I'm on my Portenta. And where are we? There we are, Potenta. I'm on the M7 core, which is the outer core. And the port is correct. So, ah, what the heck did I just do? Let's fire that off. So, uh, while that's compiling, and not really expecting any of this to be real. Oh, I got to put that on the correct port. Uh, the uh, boot port. Um, so let's have just a little look through this. I've done a whole bunch of uh, AI stuff, mainly TensorFlow.js and Edge Impulse. So it's doing just, ooh, it's got this. I hate that command. It basically free, it stops everything till you're on the serial monitor. Uh, I put in delays, whatever. Um, so what's it doing? It looks like it's reading. I have to type the word inference. Looks like it's installed um, or uploaded. Uh, it's doing the XOR, which I've done a bunch of XOR stuff. Uh, let's just mess with it and see what happens. So I got to go to the new port and I got to go to serial monitor. XOR type inference to start. Inference. What if I spell it wrong? I wonder what happens. Anyway, let's see what happens. Oh, it's doing stuff. Uh, ooh. Uh, required memory for internet, 24 bytes. Uh, artificial intelligence for embedded systems. Input 101, real output 11. Now, in the XOR situation, if both inputs are zero, the output should be zero. If one of the inputs is one, the output, there it is, the real output, it should be one, and the calculated output is one. So it's, it, it's working is what this is really saying. Um, let's just do it again, same kind of thing, so do it again. I'm looking for something different than a zero and a one. Uh, I would assume at some point uh, we're going to to restart, I think what I'm doing is actually restarting it. Is it doing it so quickly I'm not seeing anything? Uh, is it always doing the same thing? Um, okay, so uh, let's just see if it always does the same one. From a code point of view, we're looking for the inference. So where's the size of inference? Mm. Okay, probably shouldn't make videos without uh, looking at it first. So let's try one of the other examples. The nice thing is on the Portenta, it compiled. So let's now try training. Um, I didn't make any changes to that, so that's awesome. Let's re put in boot mode and let's put that in the right spot. Might as well get it compiling while we look at the code. Okay, that's the include. Uh, once again, it's halting for the serial port. That's fine as long as we know about it. It's reading a five, just getting random number probably. Um, now it's doing a while loop, while serial. So while I type into serial, uh, now I have to type training. Then it's printing a bunch of stuff. Then it's inputting the data. And here's the 00011011. That's awesome. Um, and then that's just your tensor shape. 
uh, doing a bunch of tensor stuff. On an Arduino is pretty darn impressive. Dimension 2, uh, target data, that's the output you should be getting. For 0, 0, it should be 0. For any a 0, 1 or 1, 0, it should be 1. The F means uh, formatted. Uh, it looks like it's done, which is nice and fast. Here's the interesting one. If both of them are 1s, the output should be 0. Uh, let's just have a look at this stuff again. Output shape for 1, because it's giving 4 things. Um, what's happening here? Oh, these are the layers. Oh, it's defining the layers. So this is cool. It's actually making a machine learning model on the Arduino. We're actually training it, which is pretty cool advanced stuff. Uh, not sure what the heck it's doing here. Almost looks like it's trying to save it or optimizers. Uh, it's giving us results. It should have a loss and stuff like that. That looks like it's probably the training. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, let's go see what this is all about. Serial, uh, check my port. And serial monitor. So, not good that we're not seeing anything. Uh, it did upload fine. Perhaps I have to type in training and I'm just supposed to know that. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, that's probably some sort of memory thing. Uh, results calculated. This is probably pre-training. Uh, then it trains, it's only doing 90 epics. And then input, input two, real, so zero, zero gives you almost zero. 90%, 50%, that's not so great, that's not so great, but we only did 90, so uh, the learning success is not guaranteed, weights are initially random, you can repeat with training. Now, what I'm curious about here is if it trains on top of the old data. So let's see if things get better. And once again, it's hard to tell, oh, there we go. So, uh, before training, no, it looks like it's just giving me um, default. Notice that's 90 epic. This is so fast. Uh, this time, strangely, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. So why did it get better? Uh, let's just do a second one and see if it just is, is random. Sometimes better, sometimes worse. Uh, that, uh, I, it feels like, and whoever made this could definitely tell me, it feels like it's getting better each time. Uh, I'm not quite sure why, because the before isn't. Anyone see a loop here that does 10? times for one, uh, zero to one, input data, input counter. I'm looking for the 10 or nine. Epics, epics, 100. Now I'm not quite sure why. Um, oh, it's probably only writing every 10th. So let's just mess with this. Let's change the epics to um, A thousand, and let's flash that to the portenta. This is really cool. Um, this kind of reminds me of, of stuff I was doing a few years back with TensorFlow.js. Look how fast that compiles. That's awesome. Uh, really weird it not saying anything to start with. Uh, where is the while? Yeah, why did that stuff not show up? Let's try it again. Go to the port, go to the serial monitor. Oh, this time it did. So I've got training 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Oh, how the heck was that so fast? Oh, notice the loss isn't changing. That's a bit of an issue. I'll probably have to change the loss. 
but my values are terrible for that one. This is what I don't quite understand is doing it a second time why my values are so good. It's like it learned from the first one. But look at those results. Holy smoke. That should be zero. That should be zero. That should be one. Uh, and I can't believe how ridiculously fast this is. So I don't know why it gets better on the second one. Uh, maybe someone could fill me in on that. So let's see examples. Uh, artificial intelligence for embedded systems, universal XOR, training two outputs, two layers, inference keras. Well, two outputs, two layers. I just kind of want to jump over to this because the keras sounds kind of interesting. What I'm really impressed with is this is working on the portento without me changing anything. Uh, just looking through this, doesn't really look like it's loading anything pre-made. Um, it just looks like it's making a Cura's type uh, model. Okay, so, uh, loader mode. Sometimes I go there too quickly and it hasn't loaded. There's bootloader mode, fire it on it. Uh, this is really cool. Um, might as well just show you my version of these things. Roxetta. Uh, look, I'm just a teacher who hacks together stuff, so uh, nothing professional coming from me. But uh, this is my cure is XOR. And I feel like the XOR is the easiest thing. And basically, I train it. And there are my epics. Here's the actual code, which you can cut and paste and throw into any um, web page. Uh, it's loading in the browser. Um, and when it gets to 3,000, it'll print out similar stuff to this. This is why I'm kind of impressed with how fast uh, the Arduino code is. Um, so let's have a look here. Uh, before we go look at this, I might as well do some uh, um, promotion of my own stuff. Pretenta Pro Community Solutions is my page. Machine learning. I have some Edge Impulse. There's the Rockseta one. And so this is my version of what they're doing. It has a model. It has your high-level code, which is basically just TensorFlow code, uh, TensorFlow Lite, and then the sine wave. And you would fire that onto it. Similar kind of stuff. Uh, I'm really impressed with this. Let's just see, change my port. Remember, this is on the Portenta. It's not even made for the Portenta. Uh, I noticed it has the Nano 33 BLE, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, not quite sure why it didn't give me any information. Let's just restart that and go to the serial monitor. Once again, no information here. What should it do uh, if serial read string inference? So let's just type inference and okay, 0, 1, 1.9. Uh, it's doing stuff. Um, let's, it looks like it's an XOR again. It's probably just doing more of a Kira's uh, model. Uh, it doesn't look like it changed this time. Um, so, what's this stuff? Uh, looks like it's, ooh. That looks like it's actually grabbed a pre-trained model with the weights and the biases already there. Uh, and it's a dual layer because that weight probably has that bias, uh, then that weight, and then that weight. Uh, once again, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'd like to talk to these people. And I think I'm done because... I, I was not expecting it to work. Uh, it's pretty cool. And yeah, so it's called uh, AIFES. So it's artificial intelligence, embedded systems, running super fast. Uh, it's really impressive.